Welcome to Excel Creating Cell Data. I'm Trina Laurie. What is creating cell data? Well, we'll talk about autofill, merge and split cells, and create and apply cell styles. There are 16,384 columns in a worksheet, and there are 1,048,776 rows. So if you can do the math in your head, then you know there are over 17 billion cells in every worksheet. And you can have 32,767 characters in each cell, so cells can do a lot of work. First, we need to know where to put data entry. You can do it in two places. First, you select the cell, and then you put your cursor in the formula bar to create the data entry. So you put it in formula bar, and then it will show up in the cell. So it's not really intuitive. If you would prefer to just double click on a cell, you can do that too. Double click on the cell to edit right in the cell. If you need to insert cells, you right click and click insert, and then it will say shift cells down. A lot of people use that, but when you do that, look what happens. Sometimes you want to do that, but in this case, it would not be good to change Thomas Hardy's name to Christina Hardy. So instead, we would right click and choose insert entire row. Also, we don't want to select the entire column or the entire row for formatting purposes anymore, because if you do, you're going to get some kind of errors. So don't select the entire column or the entire row. Instead, just select the cells that you want to format. The way to do that is either by using control click or shift click. Control click, as you can see here, will select non-contiguous cells, in other words, cells that don't touch each other. You for using shift, you put shift click at the first cell and then you simply click on the last cell and everything in between will be selected. However, if you want all the data that has data, all the cells that have data, simply do control A and that will control it all or select all the data in the cells. When you click and drag, make sure you know what you're clicking on first. If you click in the cell, see how the cursor looks like a big cross? When you click and drag, it will actually increase the selection area only. If you click and drag on the line, your cursor changes to a four-sided arrow and it actually moves the data. If you click on the autofill handle in the bottom right corner, it will copy or increase the data. To merge cells, for example, I want week one to be merged over each of the days of the week. So I click and drag where I want the cells to be merged and then I look up on my toolbar for Merge and Center. Notice you have some other options in there as well. Also, if you click Control-1 under Alignment, you have the option to merge cells without centering the text as well. A lot of people ask me, how can I split my data? I've got one column, but I want to split it into two cells. That's under Data, Text to Column, and it will split it. The first of the three-step wizard asks, is this data delimited? In other words, is there something such as a comma or tab to separate each field? In this case, it is a space. So we click Next and mark Space. Then click Next and it will ask you where would you like to place your data. If you want to impress people with the look of your data as well as the numbers themselves, then select your data. Remember Control A to select it all and then click Cell Styles. There's lots of different styles that you can choose from instantly. You don't have to make any decisions except which one do you like. If you want to create your own cell style, select it, format it the way you want it uh, with the, the font and the colors and everything, and then click New Cell Style, give it a name, and all the formatting that you selected already will appear in there and then you click OK and now you have your own cell style to choose from. That's all this time. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.